having active forest reproduction is an important part of the solution to combat climate change. The forest's ability to absorb carbon dioxide can be seen as a natural ecosystem service. It binds carbon in trunks, roots, branches, needles and leaves. The forest absorbs the carbon most effectively when it is young and middle-aged. It is then that it grows most rapidly. Our forestry model is to always ensure that we regenerate the forest. So when taking away the old forest, we make sure to establish a new forest. And that, we've been doing that for 100 years and it's been very successful. Because today the volume is more than double the volume that we had 100 years ago. Swedish forest grows by a total of 110 million cubic meters a year and the net reduction of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere as a result of Swedish forestry and wood production is 60 million metric tons a year. This is equivalent to the entire carbon dioxide emissions for the whole of the country. In Sweden we increase the, the growth of the forests all the time. We have developed a model that is very efficient we set aside 20% of our forest land for nature conservation and that is in different scales. But the rest of the forest, the 80%, we will use very efficiently and in a long-term sustainable way. The Swedish forestry model is built on a method of monitoring the forest. The first step is to decide which trees should be harvested and which should be left behind. We are using uh, GPS uh, technology and GIS technology. Uh, I'm looking at the trees, measuring them to get the right volume. That is important later in the chain uh, to see what timber and pulp wood we are getting. And now I will mark this on the map. I'm looking at the soil, I'm looking at uh, what's growing on the field, you can say. And I'm also looking at a way to regenerate the new stand. And uh, I'm looking at uh, considerations. It could be cultural or it could be big trees that are going to stay for eternity on the, on the ground. The work I'm doing with the field computer, it's uh, the base for the rest of the work in the company. The GPS information is applied to the high-tech felling machines. The driver in the machine follows the instructions from the GPS and thereby only harvests the trees already pre-selected. The Swedish forestry model works with several harvesting periods in the 100 years life cycle of a forest stand. The one that provides most income is final felling of areas, where the growing has decreased and not much more is expected of the stand. But another, and one of the most important measures, is thinning, as it's this that ensures that the forest grows correctly and profitably. When we carry out thinnings in, in Sweden, we take away some of the trees, around 30% of, of the standing volume. And that is to promote the best trees, the highest quality trees, and give possibilities to the remaining stand to grow until the, the end of the life cycle. During the lifetime of the forest stand, you, you take out wood at different times. And you can get products, I mean, you can get pulp wood from, from the younger stands. And from the old stands, you get mainly timber. Uh, but you can also get pulp wood, of course. But we, we work with the forest stands all over the life cycle to get the best products at the end.
During the thinning and felling, tips and branches are also produced. Today, these are defined as forestry waste products and are partly used for biofuel. Biofuel is part of the sustainable forestry production because biofuel from the forest is about taking out the tips and branches that are produced when felling forests and uh, thinning forests. And that biomass can substitute for fossil fuels, which is extremely important from a climate point of view. Biofuel is becoming more and more important for, for Swedish energy production. It's steadily increasing and today it actually is 26% uh, of the total Swedish energy production. The Swedish forestry companies work with replanting the harvested areas. This is done using three different regeneration methods, planting, sowing and natural regeneration from seed trees. In Sweden we plant 300 million seedlings each year. Over the years we have um, improved the regeneration methods a lot. If you use seeds from, from the trees in the forest, you will get a good forest in the next generation. But if you work with tree breeding and processed material, and selection over time to get the best material, you will have a much uh, higher success in, in the forest for the future. The future target for Swedish forestry production is to increase um, the, the level of production from where we are today. And we think that we will be able to reach a 20% increase until um, the year 2030. The impact of that will be that we can actually bind and substitute carbon dioxide at a level which is double the effect that we have having today.